guys and welcome back to the channel for some more Daisy standalone. Now, first things first, I need to explain the last guy that I shot. Oh, the guy that I shot through the window, the second guy that I killed, his body. Um, like, where is. Is Kevin on the airship? No. Where's I'm Callum? Is gonna... Callum got a full ghillie? I think so, yeah. He's on a roof. If he's lying down in a hill, do not shoot him. I, I, I had a perfect shot, but I didn't know where they had the full ghillie window. Milo the Average Sniper used to be one of the prominent figures in the DayZ content creator community. With almost every one of his videos pulling over 100,000 views, it was clear that he had captured the interest of a massive audience eager for adventure and entertainment. He would use different styles in his video making. In some, he would lean towards a more cinematic storytelling perspective, and in some it would be more of a pure PvP gameplay. But every time the video would have an interesting adventure that captured his viewers. However, the rise to fame often comes with its own set of challenges, and for Milo, the journey took an unexpected turn. Allegations began to surface, casting a shadow over his once pristine reputation. The very community that celebrated his achievements now found itself divided, grappling with the revelation that their beloved content creator might not be what he seemed. I'm incredibly very sorry. In order to understand what happened to Milo, we need to start from the beginning. He created his channel on the 31st of May 2016, and the oldest video that's public, titled Wolf Attack, dates back to 14th of September 2017. Over the next couple of years, his YouTube channel saw steady growth, with some of the videos becoming hits in his community, such as the Building the Base or the DMR Counter Sniper video. At the start of 2019, Milo would create multiple DayZ servers of his own, all by the name of MTAS Playground. These servers were decently popular, especially among his viewers, and it was known that Milo also played on these servers when getting content. As the server's popularity grew, it didn't take long when allegations and suspicious activity began to rise in the community. The first whispers of controversy began as Reddit threads emerged, shedding light on allegations of admin abuse within the server. Players recounted cases of unfair treatment, mysterious bans, and questionable actions by the server admins, with suspicions pointing towards Milo himself. So, MTAS Playground banned me for basically being too good. Because people are reporting me for killing them, they got sick of it and banned me without no evidence. Stay clear from this service if you are a little more experienced, guys. However, the post you are looking at now finally revealed the truth behind MTAS and Milo. In the post, it was revealed that a former admin of the server had caught Milo and some of his friends in the act. The uploader provided screenshots of private messages and videos where Milo would spawn in gear and tank gunshots by high caliber guns without seemingly taking no damage. Here are some of the clips the uploader provided. He's coming out? Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god! Where? He's running. What the fuck? I really think I'm ghosting right now. Where'd he go? Is he not dead yet? No. Nope. I shot an entire he mech on him. This is not working. Dude, he's not dying. He's bleeding, he's bleeding. How is he not... Out of ammo, out of ammo. <clears throat> I have one. I have one. After the video surfaced, it was revealed that some of the admins actually got demoted and banned because they had leaked the footage. But what really broke the camel's back was when Milo uploaded a video of his own in which he blatantly used admin tools, essentially exposing himself. After Milo's subscribers saw the video and called him out on it, he quickly deleted it, but it was later uploaded by one of his viewers. After the incident, Milo disappeared from YouTube for a while. However, he would return on the 10th of May 2020, when he featured as a guest on the DayZ Spotlight podcast.
In the interview, he admitted to abusing admin tools on his own server, but it was also revealed that he had scripted some of his content while at the same time claiming that the footage was organic gameplay. Basically, I was stupid enough to leave a clip in the video where it's very blatantly obvious that I have some sort of admin ability on. You can tell in the video that my food and water hits red. When that happens, you start to slowly trickle away health. So that's kind of how that went down. It was a clip in a video of me using admin powers to my advantage. The interview is two hours long, and in it, Milo explained how he would exploit clans on the server for content without their consent or knowledge. Why did you use some clans for your content without their knowledge? So why did you use other players um, for your videos without letting them know if they were scripted and you had these abilities going um, without their basically their consent, their knowledge of that they were going to be in a video? Because stupidly enough, I thought at the time that that was the best justified way of doing it. These clans on the servers are huge. They have a lot of loot and a lot of money. And in my mind, it was I don't agree with this now, looking back on it a lot and thinking about it a lot. But my justification for it was they have a lot of loot, they're not going to notice, it won't make a difference. He was also asked a question about why he had slowed his uploading pace with two or three months between each upload. Now, Milo claimed that he had gotten ill and that video making wasn't his priority at the time. However, allegedly he had gotten threats by his fans forcing him to upload his most recent but now deleted video. There is no telling if these threats were real. And personally, I would like to think that he wouldn't lie about such things. But what really stood out for people in the video was that it featured a sponsor. What about the sponsorship though? Oh, Christ. Yeah, looking back on that now, that was not... I don't know how to word this. It wasn't the right way to go about that at all. I thought in my mind that making a video and paying off bills kill two birds with one stone, but looking at it from the outside, that just looks greedy. After watching the interview, it was clear that Milo wanted to redeem himself. From now on, he would strip himself admin tools and be more transparent with scripted content. He said that he would make a return at some point and he would publish a public apology in which he would address all the controversy. Um, I do still recommend you post something on your channel. Um, oh, I'm just, going to. you know, um, yes. you, know, you can point them to this interview if you don't want to recap but, everything again. But just going on there saying um, a brief, you know, doesn't need to be a war and peace, but just a few minutes. I don't want to be looked down on by everyone. I want to make entertainment that people find entertaining, but I, I'm not leaving. I will come back, but it might be some time because I need to think about how this needs to be properly done now because I've kind of got one shot. So where is Milo the average sniper now? Well, after the interview, he disappeared completely. He never uploaded a public statement on YouTube or Reddit or any other platform. His video uploads stopped completely and eventually all of the MTAS servers shut down along with his website. It's unclear what he is up to nowadays. Personally, I hope that he would make a comeback, as I do believe he does deserve a second chance. But why did he go radio silent after promising to make a change for the better? Is he ever going to come back? Only Milo knows the answer.